Hey everybody, welcome back to MoFro's Reef. I'm Wayne, and it's been about a month since I've done an update. I pretty much lost all my fish. The tank's staying really clean because I'm only feeding it twice a week with uh, some coral food. So what I got in here for livestock is, I got two skunk shrimp, a little sea urchin, Diablo, He's pretty cool to watch. I mean, that's pretty much my entertainment right there so far. Other than the, the corals are all doing really well. There's a big uh, fighting conch. You can see his trunk sticking out right there. So I did pick up a couple new, new additions a little while ago. And one of the pieces I got was this uh, Crocea clam. Really small, really cool, super vibrant colors. You can see I got it sitting next to my uh, Durassa clam right here. Um, what else I picked up since my last video was uh, I got this West Side Tort. I got this somewhere over the rainbow Millie. This thing's gonna be pretty pretty awesome once it starts uh, hitting stride here. And I got an ice fire echinata. And like this one Millie, if you go back to my day 17 update and check it out in that video, I mean This thing is just doing absolutely awesome. So this other somewhere over the rainbow Millie I got here, um, I'm gonna leave him down here for a couple more weeks because I'm pretty sure he was, well I know he was grown under uh, T5s. So I'm gonna kinda acclimate him in the middle of the tank and then I'll probably move him up to, you know, one of these higher arches up here. And I still have a plan of this whole arch right here, I'm going to fill this one up complete with just battle corals. But, you know, I, I don't know exactly when. I'm probably not going to add fish for still another month and a half because I'm definitely going to wait this out. You know, I'm going to wait like two and a half months before I do anything. You know, for my fish, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Since I took all the, all my fish died and I took them out of here, let me tell you, the sand bed is just staying absolutely pristine. My skimmer's not going ballistic. I noticed the stink going down. Um, so I don't know. I might just go with like uh, maybe five, five, maybe six tops. And just keep it more of a, a more of a coral reef than an actual fish tank. We'll see though. It's kind of hard. Pretty heartbroken I lost all them fish. I just lost uh, my purple tang phantom probably about a week ago. So the only guys I got left is uh, I got my uh, melon arsrass jasper and my blue tang, my regal tang sapphire. The one that's on the, uh, the picture of my, uh, my YouTube channel. Eight cans are looking really good. You can see all the new heads down at the bottom there. I purchased this guy maybe a month and a half ago. He had three heads. Now you can see them, they're just lined all the way around. This rainbow A can here. He's getting uh, some heads growing on him too, some new ones. Open brain coral is looking really cool. My Duncan colony is still exploding. I have to say, my favorite coral still, as of to this day, is this Lobo. And 
It is by far the most colorful piece in my system. And he's got like uh, three miles, so he's getting bigger. All the corals are looking really healthy. Oh, and I did get this, probably about a month ago, this jewel starfish. So this weekend I'm going to probably try to make another video. I think pretty much a lot of my videos from here on out are going to be more, uh, you know, just kind of like updates and, and maintenance related. I'm probably going to do a, a testing video coming up here shortly. I mean, because I do a lot of testing. I, I've been slowing down. Everything's been stable in here. So now I'm just testing once a week for all my uh, all my parameters. And I believe me, I do a lot. And I'm going to, I'll make a video on that. I'll do, I know somebody requested me to do a video on uh, how I do my water changes. And honestly, with this what I got going on here with this system it's not so much of doing water changes as it is siphoning and cleaning my sand bed and the only way you can do that is with water changes so I've been doing uh, 10 gallons 10 gallons a week so that's 20% uh, water change per month I will catch you on the next one keep it clean peace